All right, halacha hey. Ketzad sidur haparshios betfilin shulrosh. How is the order of the parshios of putting them in the heads filling? Machnis parsha achrona shivayim shemua bebayis rishon. You put in the last parsha of ayim shemua in the first uh, compartment. Shuhu al yamin hamaniach. That that's going to be on the the right side of the one who's wearing it. Vishmas muchala and shma next to it. Ahayaki v'yacha by shlishi smuchala shma. And Vahayaki Vyacha in the third compartment right next to Shema. The Kadishli Babai Savi Shula Small Hamaniak Tfilin. And the Kadishli in the fourth compartment, which is um to the left side of the one who's wearing it. Of wearing wearing this villain. Kadeshi Yehe Hakoda Shalafan of Kaneged Pne Hamaniach. Notice uh, notice that the one who's wearing, the one who's standing in front of the person who's wearing it, should read it in the proper order, like this. And he has a picture over here. The im hichlif sidur zeh psulos, and if you flip this order, it's puzzle. Now, this looks like the same order as Rashi, and with Shema before the Hayah. Okay. Now, there's a Ravid. We'll attempt, we'll attempt the Ravid. It says, Ketzad, Asagas Ravid, Ketzad Sidur Aparshi Yuskulu, Hat Imi Chlif Sidur Psulos. Okay. Kasav Ravid Zal, the Ravid writes, Rabbeinu hai zal, enu omer kein. So Rabbeinu hai doesn't say like this. El havayos be'emza, but rather havayos, uh, the meaning v'haya, should be in the middle, like Rabbeinu tam. Kadish mi'amin hamaniach v'haya ki v'yachas samuchla. So it's first v'kadish and then v'haya. Shema mismolo, and shema on the left side. V'haya im shemua samuchla. Be'emza and v'haya next to Shema in the middle. Who behipuch lekodesh kenegdo? And this is the opposite of the one who who reads it. The kodesh kodesh kesidron. The one who reads it reads it in the proper order. Al Shema v'haya im shemua. Nemar you could say that I could have told me I mean the small. The one who reads it reads it in the order of Shman Vayim Shemor. So we'll say that it's in the order of the Torah that a person reads from right to left. I'm not I'm not sure exactly how to explain this. And the this mechaber, meaning the Rambam, places this brisa that says it has to be miyamin hakore. The brisa she evio bekushia the amru v'hatanya epcha. Sham, Usali Amina Maniach, who tema. So, seemingly, the fact that it's Mimina Kora, that's not the conclusion in the Gemara there. Because the Gemara asks, the Hatanya Ipcha, we learned the opposite. 
I guess this is concerning Shman uh, Vehaya, whether or not it's uh, read properly in the order Miyamina Koda. I guess there's a Havamina like that. That it should be on the right side of the one who's wearing it. So this is a wonder that the Rambam left the uh, order of of the one who's wearing the tefillin, and he uh, described it to be the one who's who's reading it. And uh, that we don't need somebody else's kriya of of the person who who him, he himself is wearing the tefillin. Oh, oh, and further, Kishma Vahayam Shamor, Lefip Shuta, that Shman Vahayam Shamor, according to the simple meaning, Minarosh, Humaschil, Vlo, Haamsa. You start from the head and not from the middle. Ul Divrizam, Chabal Ol Mishma, Mina Emsa. And according to this, the Chabal meaning the Rambam. Shema is going to be in the middle. Why would you start Shema if you have it on the side? So you can start with Shema, the one who was wearing it. He's starting with Shema, and and then oh, and then he says Vihaya. But according to this, Shema is going to be in the middle. According to however, and that's why the Gaon of Ha Gaon. Uh, Decided that that uh, the haya should be um, in the middle and shema on the side. Derech pshitu se gemara. According to the simple way of understanding that gemara, v'shem havayos b'emzal gemara shenu and the shem havaya, the the havayos should be in the middle. Okay, now the case of mishnah. What? How's the order of the parshios? Perek Akomets, Raba, Menachos, Lamedal, Lamed Beis, Tanur Rabbanan, Our sages learn Kates and Seder, Sederan. How is their order? Kadesh Vayakiv Yecham Yemin, Shma Vehayam Shmoa Mismol. That Kadesh is on the right side. So this is Gemara Menachos. That Vayakiv Yecham is on is on the right. Shema v'haya im shemua mismol. Shema v'haya is on the left side. V'atanya ibchar. We learn the opposite. This is what the Rav just brought. Amar Abaye, lo kasha kan li mi nakore kan li mi kan li u kan li mi na maniach. One of them is referring to the right side of the one who's reading, and one of them is referring to the right side of the one who's wearing. And that's how the riff brings this in Hilchus Tefillin. And the way the Rambam has it is, and the one who reads it, reads it in its proper order. So I guess uh, the riff isn't Goros that. And just has the Gemara as is. Because of Rosh Zal, she gives us Rabbi Nutam, and the Rosh writes that that's how Rabbi Nutam has it. Mufarish Rabbi Nu, although the Rabbi Nutam is is like Rav Haga, like Rav Haga on with Havayos Bemsa. Mufarish Rabbi Nu Varkore Kore Kisidran. So the the Rambam explains. This Gemara, that the one who writes it, who reads it, reads it in its order. Kloma, that is to say, Kesedik Shiksuvin Vitora, in the order they are written the Torah. Muktam, Muktam, Ucher, Ucher, the one that's written first is the first one you put in. 
is the is, is the and the one that's later is later. Hilkach Haidik Tani Kadesh Vayakiv Yacham Yemin Shema Vayam Shema Mismol I know Yemin Vismol Akore. And therefore, this that the Gemara says Kadesh Vayakiv Yacham is on the right side, and Shema Vayam Shema is on the left side. That is the, the right and left side of the one who's reading, because the Rambam is Gores Yemin Hakore. And this is also the opinion of Rashi. So the, the, the Rashi tefillin is the Rambam tefillin. And the uh, Rabbeinu Tam tefillin is, is like Lechora, is like Rav HaGaon, and Lechora like the, the, the Rif. The Kos of Arosh Zal, the Hachim Ashma B'Mechilta. So the, the Rosh writes that this is what's implied by Mechilta, but Parshas Vahayaki V'yachat, the Tani Bedalab Mekoma says Kirakasu Parshas Tefillin that it says there in Mechilta uh, that there's four places in the Torah that it mentions the Parsha of Tefillin. Kadish Vayakiv Yecha Shema Vahayim Shemor. Mekan. So it mentions all the four Kadish and Vayakiv Yecha and Shema Vahayim Shemor. Mikan Amru Mitzvah Tefillin Dalid Parshios, and from here, from Mechilta, we learn that the Mitzvah of Tefillin is these the, these four Parshios. V'hadotani Kosin Kesidran. And we f- further learned that you write them in their order. V'im Kasvan Shelo Kesidran Yigonezu, and if you write them without that proper order. Um, you you have to put them in Geniza. They must be written in the proper order. And that implies that in the same order that it brought in the beginning of, of the statement in the Mechelta. But all of these um, disagree with uh, the Rambam, the Rambam's opinion, and they explain the sugya differently uh, in order to have uh, a virus bamsa. Because of Raiva, oh, he brings the Raiva. I'll live with Rabbeinu, Yevsh Rabbeinu, Amar Avraham. Rabbeinu, hi, Inu Omer Kain Vichu. The Rabbeinu, hi, does not um, say so. Therefore, the Gaon, meaning of high, takes the Gemara at its simple, uh, in, this, in its simple reading. Vishim Havayos Be'em, Sa'ad Kalash Yonah, when the names of Havayos are in the middle. Bekfar Nishal Rabbeinu, al ze mechach me'lunil, v'ze lashon ha'she'ela. And the... This question was already asked of the Rambam from the Chachamim in, Tzfa, in, in Tzarfas, the Chachmei Lunil. And this is the language of the question. Yoreinu Rabbeinu, our Rabbi should ex- teach us, Ma shekasu be peregimel ketzad sidur apashios be tefillah shel rosh. This that he writes in the third chapter of Hilchus Tefillin that we're in. How is this order of the Pashos of, of the Tefillin shel rosh? Machnis Pasha Achrona, Shivaya M Shemoa Babayas Vishon, Shua Yamin Hamaniach Vakulo, that you put in Vaya Im Shemoa uh on the first compartment which 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 is gonna be on the right side of the one who's wearing it. Vinachdu Vinachnu Talmidecha, Ki Baldum Brabusenu, and us, your students, we received from our rabbis, Shikibu Mehageonim, Rabbeinu Hai, Birosham, and that receives from the Geonim, and Rabbeinu Hai as their head. That we must have a virus in the middle. And so too that it's explained in Sanhedrin. This that Rav Yehuda said the name of Rav, called Beisachitzon, Shinuroes Ha'avir. 
posu, tigun kadesh ushma, that it says there in, in Sanhedrin, this Rav Yehuda says, uh, so wh- wh- how how are them? What what does it say in in the in Sanhedrin? It says, Rabbi Yehuda said in the name of Rav, any compartment of the tefillin that's on on the outside that does not see the air um, is possible. And what are the examples that they give? How are they mafarish? For example, Kaddish and Shema. That implies that Shema is on the outside and needs to see the air. And we've also received from them, from these Geonim and from our rabbis of the Chochmi Lunil, that the cloth is red on that side that the hair is is attached to. Bodu when it's when it's alive. That's the, that's cloth. And the sustos is the side that was attached to the flesh. And uh, what seems to us is that it's found in your book. The opposite of this, Alkain, Mashach Therefore, we have uh, pulled our hands away from them. Meaning, we we have uh, avoided this, uh, following this, until your words come to us, Yorinu Kedas Malasos, and explain to us um, the opinion, your opinion, what to do. Chuva. And the answer to this, So he answers the last thing. And he says, this that it came up into your mind, that the order of the parshios and the, and the cloth, which is the portion that the hair is attached to, when you split the cloth, this, my opinion, was like that in the beginning. Just like you. And that the tefillin that I had in the West, uh, that's what they were like. And also, that's what was written in the book about Tefillin by Rabbi Moshe Bar Maimon from Cordoba, Cordoba, into Spain. And that is, it's that book that made me have this mistake. He took all Anshe Mairav, Milofana, and also made all the people of the West make this mistake. Begam Harav Rabinu Yitzchak, Zichrona Lebracha Kevase, Svirale, Pechuva, and also Rabinu Yitzchak. Maybe that's the Orzorua. Um, um, holds like him in a Chuva. Begam Chacham Echad Yesh, Shmo Rabbi Yaakov Kuli, Kali. Kacha Asa, he also did like that. Rabbi Yaakov Kali. Kalai. Vaharbe Geonim Cholku al And many Geonim argued on this point. And all the people in Eretz Yisrael, and from before, the early ones from, from before, Argue on this point. The Amru and they say, "Ki achachamim hagit neemanim paschuat filin shel Rabbeinu Hai." That the trustworthy sages they open the filin of Rabbeinu Hai. Vehi ksuva al ased the shakasafti bechiburi, and it was actually written in the order that I wrote in my book. V'Rabbi Moshe Drei kishabab min amadev el Eretz Yisrael, and Rabbi Moshe Drei when he came from. The West to Eretz Yisrael. He had his tefillin like the people of his place, like your place, meaning in Lunil. And when they showed him the words of the early Geonim, 
and there proves he 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 put away those tefillin, <coughs> and uh, he threw his, and and he did it according to the the, the order that it was supposed to. And the clear proof for this matter, Shamru <coughs> that it says in the Komets Rabba Vakore Kore Kesidron that the one it says it in, the, in there. <coughs> But the one who reads it, reads it Kisidran. <coughs> so he, he implied before that, that this, this wasn't the Gyosa Sarif. <coughs> that to have this Vakura Kura Kisidran. But the Rabban brings it here. That it says in our comments, Rabba, that the one who reads it, reads it in the order. That the one who is reading it, reads it in the order of the Parshios as it's written in the Torah. And this Nusach, was not in our uh, Gemaras. This was not in the Nusach. But I found the old Nusach, the old Nusach, and it, that's how the Gemara said it there. Bukulan, in all of them. <coughs> and and the, the Maisa teaches us that how were people actually doing it in Eretz Yisrael? They're doing it like this. And in this order of the Torah, they wrote it, one man from, from the next. And everybody agrees that by Tefillin Shel Yad, for sure it has to be like this. The, the, the question was only in the Tefillin uh, Shel Rosh. And it's proper that uh, the, the halacha should be that both of them, it's a, or, or, or it's a, he says, or that, that both, or it's proper then, that both of them should be um, equal in the way they're written. Why? Because Rabbi Yossi says you can simply place a leather on top of the shel rosh and, and uh, place it on your hand. As as a tefillin shaliyad, if so, it's going to be in the proper order. It had supposed to be because you can take the tefillin shalosh and make it a tefillin shaliyad. Shmami na seder echad shlishdein. So that implies that they have both have the same order. Vechayni lenyan klaf v'duchsustos. Okay, and then the second point. So too with the concept of klaf and duchsustos that it says, uh, like we brought before, that klaf would be that they were makabel and lunil. That cloth was on the side of, side of the se'ar, and the duchsus was on the side of the basa. Taus gedola. It's a great mistake. Kol ha'omer k'moshu ala al daitichem. Anyone who says, like it came up into your mind, shadav yudua shenu matzrichin lihiyos aksivatam and noya biyoser, that we have an obligation to have the writing very pleasant and nice. So beferush amru chachamim. And it's, uh, our sages say clearly, that the one who writes in Duxustus has to write in the place of the hair. The hair. We're in Mepharsh, that it's on the side of the Duxustus, that's, that's, that's all closer to the Se'ar. But if the Pashtus is supposed to be nice, so the Duxustus needs to be on the side of the Se'ar. And the Klaf needs to be on the side of the Basa. And if you want to say like some of these gonim said, if you want to say that the cloth is that portion, that thick portion of the skin that was on the flesh, that the the uh, the Arabs call it rak, and they work it with. Uh, lie, and it has two sides. One is very um, smooth, and, and that's nice to write upon. And the other one is reddish, is, is wrapped in reddish, redness, and it's not smooth. And you can't write on it nicely, but it's it all gets spread out in little parts or something. And that's the side of the hair.
So the nice part of it is, so this is the thick part, the cloth. When you divide it, the side of the hair, on the inside with the flesh, that's become smooth, like we do it. Then now this is the Rambam according the Mekta Sagaonim. And the thin part is the portion of the skin that the Arabs call kost. And it has two sides. And it has one side that's nice to write upon. And that's the side that's closer to the hair. And the inside. And and the other side, Dvukim Bechilika Ave, is attached to the thick part. That's not writing written uh, fitting for writing at all. Allah had you nivlbahem, but the, the ink uh, sinks into it. Into them, and all the letters will be ruined. I'm not exactly sure how he says that that's the side of the Se'ar. So, the, the second part, if you divide it, the side of the of the Bosa, he says, is nice to write on. The side that's next to the flesh is not good to write on. So the Chsustos, according to him, when you divide the skin, it needs to be on the Makom Basa. No, that's the Makom Asi'ar. Echad no'el eksivavu Makom Asi'ar. Vaponi ma'achirim duvukim b'chilika ave. I'm not sure what he means, duvukim b'chilika ave. L'chorah, that's the Makom Asi'ar. I'm not sure. Anyways, nimsa ledivreichem, but so it's found according to your words, ledivrei osam she'amru kachati aksiva beklaf edu bedochsustus b'makom reus. That, according to those that say that that's how the writing has to be in the klaf and the dochsustus in the place where they where they're joined. Ubechisus shein aksivam ulabehem, and this would be a, a lowliness because the aksiva is not good on them. He just proved that the place where they get attached. So, according to the Rambam, these, these both of these places, when you divide the skin, the place where they're attached, they're both bad writing, bad places for writing. The cloth needs to be on the Makom Se'ar, on the outside. And the Duchsustus needs to be on the inside. And, and um, if you do it on the, on the, the Duchsustus B'Makom Se'ar, where it's attached to the skin, and the cloth, which is the skin B'Makom Basa, he, he, he said that the, this is not, the writing's not going to be nice. And the second proof that made me lean, according to the uh, opinion that I wrote in my work, meaning this this work of, of the Mishnah Torah, of the Rambam, this is this is the proof. Because it is known. Shasefer Torah Mikudish Yosem in Hatfilin. The Sefer Torah is holier than the Tfilin. Tfilin Mikudashim Yosem Min Hamazuza and Tfilin is holier than the Mazuza. Mikachi Allah Allah Lamosh Misinai and this is the Allah Lamosh Misinai Shia or call Achad Mehem Chazakubadi that the skin of each one should be strong properly that it should be able to stand and um, stay have endurance according to its holiness Sefer Torah who or Shalim that Sefer Torah should be a complete skin it should last the longest Gvil al haklaf shu ha'or ha'ave 
and the tefillin should be on the cloth, which is the half of it, which is the thicker half when you divide it. Mezuzah Allah duchsustus. Mezuzah should be on the duchsustus. Allah hachetzia acher adak. And that should be on the thinner one. That's the duchsustus. Nimsa call echad mihem lefi my lasso biktusham my las oro. So it's found then that each one according to their level of holiness, that's how uh, thick and durable their their skin is that you're writing on. Hakayemis, that's going to stand. And the writing of each one of them and the proper place to write it so that it'll be nice and a complete writing. And this that, that the Rambam writes in this Shuva that so too it was written in the Hebrew Tefillin. His name is Rav Moshe Bar Maimon from Korto Kortoba who Chacham Echad Ben Iro Shel Rabenu Rishmo Kishmo. This is somebody also from Kortoba, like the Rambam, and his name he had the same name as the Rambam. So that's why the the Kesef Mishnah is pointing it out. Hebrew Hebrew Tefillin Levad. And he, his only chibur is on tefillin. Sheilu Rabbeinu lo betefillin levar chibur. That uh, if it was if it was the Rambam himself, he, he didn't only write a chibur on tefillin. O tosu shenafal betshuvazu, or maybe that name is, is a mistake in this tshuva. That wasn't actually his name. It uh, somehow came out to be that name. Mikol makom anu lo meidi mimena. But nonetheless, we still can learn from it uh, the opinion of, of, uh, of the Rambam. Because we have already found the, the minhag in all of our places. Shemam, Kedivri, Rabbeinu, Virashi, Zal, that they are no hag like the Rambam and the Rashi, beside the Rapashios and the Uri of the Parshios but not necessarily in his parish on the klafim. And uh, what is klafim, what is revealed? And what is, what is klafim duxustos? Like the Hebrew before. The gyrsos mechulafos. And if you change these orders, that's where you can find that.